a willingness to protect others. I would tell you that it was one of the things I used to be the most proud about in West Texas, is that we had that, and that's what I would say I loved about being in West Texas. Unvaccinated populations tend to congregate in single places. You may have a group of people who all feel strongly about not vaccinating, and so they often do activities together. If they are exposed, you have a ripe place to create a, a large population contracting that disease. With this measles situation, um, I can just honestly tell you that we haven't taken any steps as a church. We, we did leave it up to the mothers. But you had the protection over us and us that you would be with John and Michelle. We believe very strongly in the authority of the parents in the home. That they need to and should have the freedom to, to guide and lead their, their children. We choose not to be alarmist. That doesn't mean that we want to be careless. With COVID, it was definite, like there, here were some clear directions from our government. Whereas in this case, we haven't gotten any clear direction. Nobody has approached me. So therefore, we, life, life as usual. Do I trust all the vaccines? No. Uh, I'm not sure if they're always for my best. What does a good shepherd do? He says, I lay down my life for the sheep. We pray for the healthcare team supporting and caring for these patients and families. It is very hard to see these kids. You see them struggle. You see them struggling to breathe. They don't want to eat or drink. They get, they're dehydrated. They have high fever. They're miserable. They look miserable. And we do our best to support them through that but it is very, very hard to watch. Measles is prevented by vaccine. And the unfortunate thing is that vaccine is not given to patients until they are typically 12 months of age. And so all of our families who have children who are less than a year of age are very concerned about their babies contracting measles. It's disheartening to see people in power that are not willing to recognize the importance of vaccines, not willing to recognize the safety of vaccines. And it's discouraging for us who are on the front lines. But the majority of people who come into my office every single day, they want to be vaccinated. We don't normally do like flu vaccines or anything, but like the tetanus, the DTaP shots, or the measles and the mumps, and we did those vaccines. We don't normally do like flu vaccines. We kind of are fight it out people. I've always been a Republican. I was born and raised that way, probably just a little bit more conservative than others. I feel like vaccines were created to save lives. And even if they're not perfect, probably the good outweigh the bad, but not everybody's gonna agree with that. For major scenarios like this, it makes me very thankful that we did vaccinate and kind of one less worry as a parent.